polls have opened in Mexico Sunday morning, where the country's population is voting to replace outgoing President Enrique Peña Nieto. Mexico will be electing a new president as well as both chambers of Congress and nine governors. The largest election in recent history, it is also Mexico's most violent, with over 100 politicians murdered in the build-up to Sunday's vote. Polls consistently show the veteran leftist politician Andres Manuel López Obrador, widely known as AMLO, with a double-digit lead. López Obrador, 64, who got his start in politics decades ago advocating for indigenous rights, has campaigned on a platform of sweeping change and has been described as a nationalist. This is the first presidential election for his party, the National Registration Movement, Morena, which is running in coalition with the left-wing Labour Party and right-wing Social and Counter Party. López Obrador's greatest competition is expected to come from Ricardo and I of the National Action Party, PAN. Meanwhile, advocates representing tens of thousands of indigenous people in the wooded countryside of southwestern Michoacan state and in traditional Maya communities in the southern states of Chiapas and Guerrero are insisting they will block voting in their communities to protest what they call a failing system. Outgoing President Enrique Peña Nieto, elected in 2012, sports a historically low approval rating, slipping as low as 17 percent last year, according to Pew Research Center polling. The Mexican Constitution restricts candidates to one six-year term, with no chance of re-election. And Peña Nieto's six years were marked by social and economic turmoil. 